It is as you say, everybody. Hey, it's Fruity, it's Fruity, it's me, the little gaming one Vesta with the green horns. Oh shit, and there goes my controller. Oh, but yeah, if, since you know that I'm playing a Wii, and I'm using a controller, obviously, I'm not playing a Wii game. If you could put that together, you're a fucking genius! Because I'm not playing a Wii game. In fact, even further than that, I am playing a GameCube game! One very special GameCube game at that. God fucking damn it, bro. Made by Konami, same people who made the game I was last gonna pull, make a let's play of. I'm just gonna let this play through. I am playing Yu Gi Oh! The False Bound Kingdom! Now, I have previously beaten this game last night. Uh. <laughs> And I decided to do a let's play of it. Well, I didn't decide to do a let's play. I was going to do SLAI starting today. But SLAI did not work. And got... You fucking cat. I am going to... Mm, stop fucking my camera angle. Oh, yeah, it's to my cat. Anyway. Uh, let's start story mode. Okay... Hang on a sec. Problem time! What about now? Okay, here we go. Uh, so, I can use Yugi or Kaiba. I want to go with using... I don't want to... Yeah. I want to use Yeah, kinda I'm gonna have to go with Kaiba again That's why I started with last time And that's why I'm gonna start again with this time Hand of Fire. Those who claim to control the gods are in fact controlled by the gods. Alexander Irving, philosopher. This is the SIC research facility. What a cheap looking building. And it took forever to get here. I know. If this didn't have something to do with dual monsters, I would have turned them down right away. SIC does have the same kind of work as Kaiba Corporation, but it's an American company, right? Right, their involvement in Dual Monsters is not something they advertise, but the company is world-renowned overseas for its incredibly realistic imaging and virtual reality technology. It's not really a game company, it's more like a scientific center for imaging, imaging technology research. But their technology may be able to help improve dual disc, right? That's the impression I got. The invitation says they want to show me a new product and discuss a joint venture. Sounds like they're ready to test their prototype. Let's just see what they have to show us. We can't we can figure out what we want to do after that. Thank you for coming, Mr. Cabo. My entire staff and I would like to welcome you. Blah 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 blah. Who cares? Whatever rush we ended. When you left Capcom, I don't care what you do with your life. Blah, blah, blah. That's right, go inside, come follow me. 
Rush Brothers, the evaluation venture, but it's a real test. Hmm, let's cut the chaser, shall we? You need investment capital to sell your technology. You want to dual monster to help you sell it because you need a product tie-in, right? And you figure you can use me since I've invested so much money in dual monsters already. Well, your son speaks volumes. As it turns out, I need some new tech anyway, so I might as well take a look. This is this it? Yeah, it's called named Kingdom. Dual disc, whatever, blah blah blah. Looks like a dual disc. It's a piece of shit. Uh, it's a game, you normally would. That sounds like a network game or something. I see it. So it's not a game. It's a fantasy world. The monsters are alive. Blah, blah, blah. Empire rules. Blah, blah, blah. You're all game characters when you enter. It sounds fun. Let's play. Okay. Something's up. He said I was up to something. It's no coincidence that my former employee is involved. And after all, he had headed up development of the dual disc and dual computer. SSC. That has to stand for something. But what? Wasn't that other guy's name? In the year of... Uh, Near 336 of Sigvarf's empire. After 300 years of ruling Rondeval continent, Sigvarf's empire is faced with a crisis. Since the 12th emperor Heshin ascended the throne, corruption and brutality have spread through the empire. The people feel suppressed, but their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. Heshin and a select group of his underlings have been living in the lap of luxury. Their lavish lifestyle, supported by heavy taxation, has pushed most of the populace to the brink. People on the fringes of the empire have responded with rebellion and revolt. And that, at, and at the capital city of Sigvarks, trouble. Kingdom Simulator Overload. Safety lock engaged. Beginning transition to mode two. Transition to mode two complete. Kingdom Simulator lock in mode activated. What the? Uh. Kaiba, wrong, Kaiba, Kaiba, what's wrong? Please look at me. Oh my head! What's wrong? You just collapsed all of a sudden. Where, where am I? We are before. You. Where are your manners, Kaiba? You stand before the emperor. This is the capital city of Sigvars, and we are in the imperial palace. We're in the middle of meeting with Highness before he passed out. Don't you remember? No, I don't. I don't remember anything. Pull yourself together, man. I expect more from you, the head of my Imperial Guard and my best warrior. Let's go over that plan again for Kaiba's sake. Listen well if you know what's good for you. We've gotten reports of a fairly large revolt taking place in the Moria Den Plains in the north. There are several marshals assisting the resistance army there. We must capture them. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 Kaiba, hunt them down, blah, 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 don't give a shit. Well, don't you have something to say? I believe Lord Kaiba is still not quite himself. Perhaps he is suffering fatigue from his strenuous activities. Your Highness, Lord Kaiba's present condition makes me a little anxious about leaving this entirely in his hands. With your permission, I would like to accompany him and offer my support. I understand. Permission granted. I trust you do not have a problem with this, Kaiba. Uh, sure. You're right. Kaiba is acting strangely. Do not let me down, Martha. Yes, sir. Seto, Mokuba, you're here too. Yes, looks like I'm a member of the Imperial Guard and I report directly to you. This place is unbelievable for our virtual city reality program. It sure is realistic. It's a bit too realistic. I don't get the feeling that we're in control of the game at all. I think it's safe to say that we've been trapped in this world. That was probably the plan all along. Just wait till I get my hands on that wretched cell now. While you were at your meeting, I did some research. In this world, Doom Monsters do what are called marshals. Hmm, hey, Sheen used that word in my meeting with him. Marshals are like generals and are the central player of each battle in this world. Marshals have powers to control monsters, blah blah blah. Each one has three monsters, each team has one monster leader, and the speed of the team is determined by that of the leader. I see. I guess we'll just figure out the rest as we fight. How did this happen to us? I don't know, but it looks like we're stuck playing the roles we've been assigned. Blah blah, blah. time to play. And there! Finally! We're out of the speech. Oh, no, we're not. We're still back in the sum. So here is our strategy, blah 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 blah. We're in the Maria Den area. It tells you about the map. Keep your opinions to yourself, bitch. Uh, okay, now we can finally start gameplay. Marking Mokuba to take him with us. Okay, for this team already, I am not feeling soggy to Dark Clown. Remove. I'm gonna go. You are gonna get soggy to dark clown. 
And Kaiba's gonna get the dark guy, whatever his fucking name is. This guy, Dark King of the Abyss. And now, we save. Okay, start the battle! And there's Time Wizard floating around the screen like a dumbass. And here we go. We're probably running in planes, blah blah blah, and he won't come out to meet us. Uh, okay, let's. Here's my plan. First thing. Uh, I'm keeping that team there. Moving that team. Out to here. And then I'm moving this team out to here. I know this guy's another boy there. Just watch Crawling Dragon crawl his ass across the screen. This team, command them to walk into the grass. Teach us how to fight. Isn't that a kind of tablet that I used to like freaking settle an upset stomach? I could have sworn it was. Uh, Pale Alice aside. Ouch. And I'm going to turn the bottom down just a little. I'm going to move that down uh, so it's not in the way. And now we get to first always check the info on your enemies. So, big insects. First off, I'm going to target the crab, because he has the lowest amount of health and he'd be the easiest target just to get rid of. He used bubble attack, nice. He took to me giant sledgehammer, bam! Oh yeah boy. Flame blast. Ouch. Wall. Now, what I did before is I played normal until I got up to having Rex Raptors team. Then I pretty much used that team to beat the entire game. So, just because I like that team, uh, freaking two-headed King Rex is beastly as hell. So, uh, let's get good battle angle here. There we go. Uh, 
Flame blast on the crab. Give that crab some crab things to think about. Fried crab, anyone? Ah, oh, miss? Really? Really, I freaking missed that early in the game? Oh, God. This is gonna be a great let's play! I can already tell! Oh, Lord. This is gonna be terrible. Inferno Trial. Sledge! Come on! And that's it, of course, on Crawling Dragon again, probably. And, yep. <sighs> Carnax Bubbles, yep, on Crawling Dragon. Escape. This is just terrible now. See if I can find him. There's a special monster I'm looking for. There we go. We're being attacked by Roman monsters. There he is. Hello, Mr. Performet. That's how you perform it. Performet. Yeah, Performet. Okay. Uh, tag with Razzle Dazzle. Three on one, sounds like a fair game to me. Just keep hammering away at him, he's gonna get down eventually. Just keep hammering away. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Hammer the fuck out of him. I know I'm gonna lose points. Win. Anyway, that's how you find monsters in this game. Just check around suspicious looking areas. And eventually you might find one. Send armored, or not armored, uh, crawling dragon back here. And send this little bitch out over here. We gotta take the city back. Hang on, actually. No, I can't do that. Gotta uh, back that team out. This team got to go in there. Cab is gonna be my main team because that's the main uh, team you have to use in order to get uh, most of the monsters in this game. Uh, you gotta have Kaiba walk around and find them pretty much. Uh, 
So I'm going to need Kaiba to be at a high level so I can beat them. I'm actually going to try playing this strategically instead of just recklessly like I did before. Zack attack uh, for uh, whatever. 492 I think it was. Something like that. But uh, he's one of my best friends and right now uh, yeah Zack attack he's uh, he's doing his uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga let's play it's going pretty well for him so far attack sledgehammer take it down with a sledgehammer something 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 then die then die you motherfucker Die on me. Defend. Heck, big inside. He's a douche. Yeah. Turn him. Simply guard all your turns, little buddy. Not going to do anything. Dragon can level up one, then that'd be good. On crawling dragon, and it's gonna kill it. Of fucking course. This is really, really annoying now. Cause I just lost my crawling dragon. And sadly, Crawling Dragon wasn't there to level up with everyone else. So now I'm just going to pull this team back. And now I'm going to send this team in. Meanwhile, this team is going to attempt to fight the main boss in this part. It's all about it's all about making shit work in the end. Just piling everything up to make it work in the end. That's what I'm doing. That's what I need to do and that's how I'm gonna do it. Battle Arts Claw. 
whatever noise you'd call that. Razzle dazzle. God, I'm tired. Oh, he guarded. That makes sense. Okay. Actually, now I'm going to move you out over there. I'm going to move this team. The combat! Actually, no, I'm going to keep that team right there. Let my weak team go in there to start the battle. Meanwhile, I'm going to move this team to behind enemy lines. My dragon team can go ahead and walk around in the mountain for a little bit. Why not? This should be all it takes to beat this level, then I can actually swap out my team for something. My Kaiba's team for a decent team. Uh, get rid of the Hitatsumi Giant, because that thing is pathetic, really, when you think about it. Let's attack the main and his base. Cannot defeat the main its main base. Tower counts to simple by fighting better than them. You must force them to be free, defeat all of them. These monsters in order to win. It's difficult to defeat the main and strong all of us surround them and attacking waves. Be careful not to chase your enemy too far, because it might be in the of a trap. Now let's get that enemy. I never give Dark Plant the light of day. I hate Dark Plant, I think it's a piece of crap, and I want to get it off my team ASAP. Dharma Cannon.
stalling out, waiting for him to use his last move. Now I'm gonna pummel the Dharma Cannon. Oh god. You can't make good commentary for a game like this, it's really hard. And squirt him with soapy water. That'll kill him, of course. It won't just make him shiny. It'll just kill him. This game makes no sense whatsoever. shit about that plant. This seems worthless. Just kill it, please. Shadow Soup. Now it's time for me to stop playing around with this team. Because as you clearly see, this team sucks deck. Because there's a terrible fucking plant on it. Now it's time to move that team into the Citadel and take over. Uh, and it's walking. And walking. And walking. And walking. Oh, there it is. <laughs> We enter the edge of town, and boom, there's a team there to fight us! <laughs> Attack Dharma Cannon.
Ow. That was cheap. Club scissors. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, crappy. Guarded, 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 guarded. Anyway, uh, now I can attack. That ought to talk. Right? Yeah, that's good damage. Anyway, my little lobster there can't do crap. He's terrible. Start again. Uh, Club scissors. And attack with battle arch claw. Armored lizard finally rolled up once. Ain't that a shit kicker. Damn, I hate cats now. Except Gizmo, Gizmo's a good cat. He was like over there. Come on. Kind of like me half the days. Doesn't want to do anything. Can't make him do anything. He's kind of lays there and sleeps. Tigger's a fucking aggravating cat. Mom's an asshole. Uh, so. Yep. Cats. Yeah. Cats, more cats. All I have to say. Yeah. Uh, attack with club scissors. Oh my god, is this the first time ever that that thing has ever gotten a kill? Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I let it get the kill. That's why I got one. God, I hit that lobster thing. That thing sucks. Get that off my team! Making me look bad. You know, the monsters are dealing 150s, 160s. I think it's only dealing like 50s and 60s. It's dealing 100 less damage than all the other monsters. It's gonna be taken out of the team! It's horrible. It's just completely horrible. Poseidon Spear! Fail! Fail. It doesn't even have good defense like you'd think a lobster would. Zedigan. Failure of a monster. Poseidon's spear. Stop spearing me. Ow. 
attack Battle Arch Claw. Battle Arch Claw. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. Weasel. Oh yeah, my drink keeps way up here in the cliff. I gotta move it over there. I'm gonna keep trying with Armored Lizard though. Might as well, right? What else could go wrong? What else could possibly go wrong? Do, 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 do. Battle Arts Claw. Win. Victory. Even if you defeat me, there are others that will avenge me. You did it. Well fought, sir. Even if you're not feeling good, right? The rebels are now know what, now know what a foolish jester this revolt was. Preparations for the public executions are well underway. What a sight that will be, the rebel fools. Be quiet, or I'll rip that tongue out of your uh, tat. Uh, be quiet, or I'll rip that tongue of yours out and feed it to the dogs. Yikes! Ryukish empowered uh, has joined your army. So I got two monsters out of that. A uh, bunch of money and must be born into blue medicine uh, sets. So, bandits. team edit replace this with give this team the format okay this team Are you kiss in Replace dark plant. Zarugan. Zarugan. However you want to pronounce it. Now we're really off the sun. Something tells me. Oh wait, I'm not done yet. I need to do something quick. Equip. Uh, item. Give this guy the monster born. Give this guy the blue medicine, and give this guy a blue medicine. Oh my god, I have no items. Anyway, uh, let's go. Save. I'm going to do this one, then I'm going to upload all this footage. Let's do it. Settle. God damn it, can't settle down. Oh my god, it's Bandit Keith. Hey, is that Kaiba head of the Imperial Guard? Oh no, no one said he was gonna be here. Do something, boss. Shut up, ya fool! Y you know what he's like! We don't stand a chance against him! So if we can't beat him, let's at least give him something to remember us by! That's the spirit, boss! Equipment. Go with any ground cannon. Traitor. Let's buy. Two of those, two of those, that's gonna find three of those. Team Command, send this team out over there. And this team will come out here. And this team, oh wait, actually, 
Travis team, no. You go, you go around and go up the thing, yeah. Still there. God, I hate stink bugs. Anyway, that's a different story for a different time. Team going to the mountains. Unless I think there's gonna be a secret monster in this level. And I do think that leaving the castle here unguard totally unguarded would be bad, so I'm gonna have the shit team. Oh yeah. Bones. What a terrible team. A terrible excuse for a monster team bones. I'm gonna end up battling him once. I'm gonna end up battling him once, and then the cannon's gonna probably activate and wipe him out. So. Poison Twin Claws, I reach. Ow, ow. That's bad. Uh, Ryukishin Powered, attack, this. Hang on, actually. Aha! He has 7 Blue Medicine. So I'm gonna have to plan this accordingly. Actually, I could just do that. I'm going to use one of my favorite gestures if the enemy has potions or healing items like that. Uh, and I know I won't be able to do enough damage to make it sufficient. I outturn them. In other words, I wait all my turns, wait for them to use all their turns up, and then I attack when they can't do anything. It's a very effective strategy. The only ones you usually need to outturn are the enemies that can heal, and once you outturn the healing enemies, then you can pretty much just open up everything you have on the enemy. Give them both barrels, so to speak. Oh my god, stoner eyes. I mean stone eyes. <laughs> yep. There goes their healer's last turn. Attack! Just a little more. And there it goes. Bye bye, snake hair. Now I'm going to concentrate on attacking the healer.
strategy as before. Or if you were smart enough like me and got the uh, anti-ground gun for this area, you can escape. That'll just force the enemy back. You'll be in the castle still. Uh, you know, you'll be forced back and they'll just run right back. See? And there goes the cannons. As you can clearly see, this team is totally screwed now. Now this is an easy way to just sit here and be able to just grind up on levels. Because bones will spawn like once every like five minutes. So you can use this to your advantage that you got this turret up and you can just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and keep killing them and killing them uh, as you see fit to grind up your team which is probably what I'm going to do uh, at least one, one, one more time if not one more other time. But right now I'm trying to look see if I can find any secret monsters in this level. So I'm going to drag Kaibo across the mountains, see what I can find. No, that but I'm also going to be getting uh, Kaiba closer to this town over here that I can capture that, which is also good. Obviously, there's nothing up here. So I'm just gonna send them to the town. There's my dragon crawling along like the creature he is. What does Bandit Keep have? Oh god, he's got a Dharma Cannon, a Robotic Cannon, and a Cyber Commander. Cyber Commander is not too dangerous. Robotic Cannon is kind of dangerous. Uh, actually, it's very dangerous. Sorry for moving the camera. Uh, so, yeah, it's not good. back in there. I'm gonna build something quick. Trade Union. Red Medicine. 
Those are really nice. I love red medicines. Those things are beastly. Creature-ish. sneak around to the side because in case bones respawn so then bones won't just immediately run into me and hit me in garbage Respond. Yes, I do think I can beat you, uh, Bandit Keith. I think it would do more, wouldn't you? Overdrive spray again. Oh, for you don't know? All I'm doing is pressing B to stall out my turn so I uh, don't use any turns. Now I can attack. Plane dash! trial. That's the end of Robotic Night. Seven health. Are you kidding me? I don't even want to play this anymore. That was crap. Gotta keep the battle going. 
actually hang on. Is this ready again? Yeah, it is. Okay. Fire the cannons! Oh, there goes Bones. Okay. Next. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna wait a uh, uh, few turns again. Wait till the little guy or uh, the, the cyber commander, I think it is. Uses yep, one turn, there goes one turn, now I can attack. Because he only has one more turn left, and I don't think uh, him healing on one turn will keep me from killing him. Inferno Trial! Instead of healing like he did, which smart person would have done when he was attacking. And now I'm using Flame Blast, and his Cyber Commander is as good as dead because he has no more turns left. So, I pretty much win. Again. That's far enough. Surrender now. You're not gonna take me in. Catch you later if you're still alive, that is. Ha 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 ha. Boss, don't leave me behind. We failed to catch the leader. Then his underling will just have to do... We'll just have to take twice the punishment then. No way, please forgive me. I don't want to die. I'll work for the Empire if you let me live. Please! Ha, the Empire has no need for your kind. The only thing the Emperor expects from you is your head on a platter. I don't want to die! Spare me! Have mercy! Jeez, look at this poor guy. Don't you think we should save him, Kaiba? I suppose so. He might prove useful. What? He's, he's guilty of treason against the Empire. He's, if he is not executed, what will become of the law? What of, uh, what of the law? You destroy it for your own pleasure, not because the law demands it. I've made up my mind. I will accept responsibility for this man. Is that a problem with you, Marthas? Kaiba! I'm in charge here, disobeying your commanding officer is a serious military crime, if I'm not mistaken. You'll pay for this, Kaiba. Oh, you'll pay. Thank you. My life is yours, Mr. Kaiba. I may not be very strong, but I am a marshal, and I'll do anything for you. And... Uh, blue, more, more blue medicine, more red medicine, and over a thousand gold. Surrounded. Which we will do next time. While the Imperial forces are busy trying to restore order, the Resistance army has been growing. It's so large now that it has launched an offensive on Anal Fortress, the largest fort in the Empire. The fort has requested reinforcements from the capital, and the Emperor has dispatched Kaiba and the Imperial Guard. However, the Resistance forces are everywhere. Kaiba and his unit have suffered heavy damage. Kaiba and his unit finally reach Eno, but the Resistance army is too powerful. Things look bad for Kaiba when something unexpected happens. He gets hard. Oh, no, that's not what happens. So, okay.
and this is where we will end it for now. I'll see you guys next time when we continue this.